How do the winds of the Arctic contribute to the economic struggles of the beef industry? How do they contribute to the potential destruction of cities in the middle latitude? Arctic oscillation is a natural process which consists of a positive and negative phase. During the positive phase of Arctic oscillation, low pressure and Arctic winds circle around the North Pole, leaving the mid-latitudes with high pressure, resulting in nice weather. During the negative phase of Arctic oscillation, the opposite occurs. Arctic air starts to disperse, traveling south into the mid-latitudes. This not only cools the mid-latitudes, it leaves the mid-latitudes with low pressure, resulting in inclement weather. For the past 20 years, since the early 1990s, Arctic oscillation has been predominantly in the positive phase. This has been beneficial socially, economically, and politically. However, because this is a natural process, we have no control over keeping Arctic oscillation in the positive phase. If there is a switch from positive to negative Arctic oscillation, inclement weather, which includes hurricanes, cyclones, thunderstorms, blizzards, hailstorms, and ice storms, problems begin to pose themselves. What will happen to cities? In 2005, after Hurricane Katrina, Mississippi and Louisiana spent $150 billion in damage repair, mostly going to the city of New Orleans, due to the fact that 80% of the city was flooded. This is besides the fact that 700 people were found dead in the city of New Orleans alone. What will happen to world trade? Hailstorms are one of the most significant hazards to aircrafts. Hail that exceeds 1.3 centimeters can destroy or seriously damage aircrafts within seconds. Between 1964 and 1985, hail directly caused 26 major civil transport incidents in the U.S. that led to 620 deaths and 200 injuries. What will happen to agriculture and forests? Pan evaporation due to global climate change and increased thunderstorms from negative oscillation could result in field fires or even forest fires, which usually cost $1 million to extinguish. Wildfires can clear entire forests, throw off food chains, increase disease, and add to further pollution. Field fires are devastating to the agriculture economy and can lead to starvation for thousands. Currently, 7 billion people are crowding the earth. The world's economy is fragile. 27 different wars are being fought right now. The Federal Emergency Management Agency is funded on a budget that is more than 100 times less than the budget of the U.S. military. When Arctic Oscillation switches from positive to negative, will we be ready? Have we invested enough in keeping people safe? Do we have evacuation plans? Are the buildings our people live in safe for these impending conditions? Do we have plans to keep the economy from crumbling? Weather conditions will change. So should we.